Good morning. Thanks for a lot for coming back. This is Dave from Free Run Speed. Every day starts walking Berlin, the puppy. She's just now becoming 11 months old and I let her set the tone. Some days we go running, but most days we go walk down the street, get into a park, and just let her run and chase the ball. Berlin. Oh, what a pretty girl. What a pretty girl. Shout out to dog owners. In the uh, Berlin video, you probably saw her limping. You should have seen her six days ago when I had to carry her home after she had a major accident playing with a friend. But luckily, she's improving every day, and we man it, we're managing it together. She'll play it until she, it starts to hurt, and she'll just stop playing, and that's good. Not, and when I say playing, that's just running back and forth. We're not letting her play with dogs right now. It'll probably take another week or so, but then she'll be fine and be a puppy again. But thanks a lot for your concerns. It's uh, 6.45 in the morning on Sunday. The dog is walked and fed, and now it's time to go for a run. Still testing the speed goat. I've run in 43 countries, 42 states, and this is home. Yesterday I went out on my gravel bike to uh, recon these trails because I have not run on them in probably four years. So I did some recon on my gravel bike and now I'm going to go run on them. It's interesting. I live in Southern California, North San Diego County. We aren't known for trail Mecca. We are the coast, sunshine, cool temperatures. But I will tell you, we don't have altitude, but we've got trails. This one is uh, roughly two and a half miles from my house. It's been run on by world champions and I'm gonna go run on it. It is all horse trails and I'm guessing right now it's gonna be 10 miles. I'm guessing it's gonna be 1,100 to 1,200 feet of climbing. This is the sixth run this week. And I'll talk a little bit about why I run six times a week when I'm done. Oh, I was right. That was 10 miles and 1,200 feet of elevation gain. And one more thing. The desert heat is winning the battle now. And so the heat is rising up here in Southern California. Typically at this time of year, between May and the middle of July, it's a argument between the ocean and the desert. This year, in May and June, the ocean won. We didn't see the sun for, I mean, we went eight, nine days in a row of never seeing the sun. That's because the onshore flow from the ocean was winning and the desert wasn't heating up too fast. Well, it appears the desert has heated up because the onshore flow is gone. That means we get morning sun, which is beautiful. I'm not gonna argue, but it makes for some hot runs from now until probably the end of October. It was six days this week. The 10 mile run finished off roughly 31 miles of running which is kind of my base week. And I want to give you some idea of why I do six days a week. And the first I'm going to talk about is running form. It's really hard to work on your running form unless you run and run consistently. And actually, the more you run, 
the less you actually have to work on your form. Although I dedicate one day, Friday, to running form. It's a recovery day. I go to a park. Sometimes I take off my shoes, sometimes I don't, but I do a full set of drills, nice long strides, usually six to eight of them. Then if I took my shoes off, I put my shoes back on and I finish the run and I work on form. But the rest of all the other runs, I'm improving my form simply by running. And I'm gonna use an example. I coach athletes. Most of the time I help athletes with their form. This one guy came to me. He was a phenomenal athlete, but he wasn't a runner. And he needed some help on his running. So we worked for two years. He would bounce off the bounce off the workouts he was doing with me. He had a coach who was giving him the workouts. And I'd go visit him and we'd take a video, talk, work on his form, work on his form, work on his form. Well, that was five years ago. This past year, in an Ironman, he got off the bike and ran a 245 marathon. Not because of me, I'm not taking credit for it. It's because he runs six days a week and he's really dedicated to it. But because he puts in the, the consistency and the amount of work, and when you watch him run, he's actually a beautiful runner now. He's not awkward like he used to be. He's just a simply beautiful flowing runner. It's amazing to watch. So that's number one, work on your running form. Number two, and probably more important than your running form, is injury prevention. Too often, marathon runners, they do way too much running on their long run and not enough the rest of the week. If you were to just break off some of those miles on the long run and sprinkle them out throughout the rest of the week, you'd actually have a better running experience and less likely to get injured. That long run, because your body's not ready for it, and you know you're not ready for it, that long run may be the reason you get injured. But if you break it off, let's say your long run is 20 miles. If you take five miles off of that and sprinkle it out throughout the week on other runs, one, you're still getting the 20 miles in. You're building consistency in your running and you're not overtaxing yourself on that 20 mile run. Six days a week is a great way to build mileage. And build mileage very slowly if you run six days a week. It's really hard to do that if you run four days a week. Probably most important, brightens up your day. I was actually not in a great mood when I started this the run this morning. I was tired, my legs hurt. Oh, I'm I'm in a great mood. It brightens up your day. So why wouldn't you want to do that 6 days a week? And lastly, and I know this is important to a lot of people and specifically if you want to get to my age and still be running and still be running well, is you have to manage your weight. And it's Again, hard to do that running four days a week. It's a heck of a lot easier to do that if you run six days a week. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this all helps. Again, this is my program. I'm not expecting you to do it. I just know from experience that it's a good program. It doesn't have to be 30 miles. You can do six days a week and 10 miles. I'll show you how to do that at some point. My entire purpose is to help you improve your running and be happy doing it every time. Have a great week running. Talk to you later.